Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Gigger. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about helping you get ahead in the digital economy. Today, we're taking a look at how I make money out of state sales. Digital Giga work from anywhere in the gig economy. So, using technology, I'm able to track down estate sales and further refine my search down to things that I'm interested in. There's no point in going to an estate sale if it's all going to be jewelry or things that I'm not familiar with because I won't know what to pay for the items and I won't know if I'm going to be able to sell those things because I have no knowledge of that type of merchandise. So, when I'm looking for estate sales, I'm looking for estate sales that have electronics, uh, old toys, things that I might have a bit of a scope of, of about and that's going to help me get ahead because I now know when I get to that estate sale that I'm familiar with what I'm looking at and what it's worth or might be worth and it'll make me a better buyer and seller because if I can buy things at a price point that leaves enough gap so that when I sell it I make a little bit of money then I'm ahead and that's what it's all about is being ahead at estate sales. So here's how I track down estate sales. I do use old school technology like the newspaper. Yep, I still get the newspaper and I take a look at ads in there. People still post things and estate sales in newspaper classified ads, so I still look at them. The other way I do it is to go online and take a look at online classified ad sites. When I go there, uh, figure out what I'm going to look at. So I like to use online um, classifieds because they're quick you can hit a whole bunch of sites in a few minutes take down notes and have a list of estate sales that you'd be interested in attending then it's actually contacting the estate sales and finding out if you get a, a, a sneak preview or sometimes depending on uh, the person that's holding it they might allow you to do that to come ahead of the public you have to kind of play around with that and call and figure out if they'll let you do that once I get to the estate sale, so for example, this weekend I went to an estate sale in Toronto and I was looking at electronics, uh, specifically vintage computers. So the estate sale that I went to had old Macs, had uh, old PCs, vintage computers that I, I know a little bit about, and games and all sorts of different technology that might be of interest to me. So I went down there and I was a little bit disappointed because the PCs were PCs that I, I wouldn't have invested any money in. Like, I'm not going to buy a 486 computer. Uh, there's not really any money in that. But an, uh, an original Mac, um, you know, those are collector's items. If they work, people want them. They're very desirable. They are decor. So much use for a vintage Mac. So I looked at that and I ended up buying one. So that was the highlight of that particular estate sale. I didn't find any other items that I was interested in and I drove about an hour away. So now I have to get out of this item at least 50 bucks to 100 bucks to be able to say that it was worthwhile me going to that estate sale. But since I don't just hit one estate sale or I try to do other things while I'm in the area, I maximize my time. So I try to go to the estate sale and then maybe I'll hit a thrift store or I'll see if there's garage sales going on. I'll see what's other opportunities that I might find while I'm in the area. So at this particular uh, estate sale, the people were really nice. They showed me all the stuff. It was a great collection. Uh, oh, one other computer that I found that I didn't take footage of uh, was a uh, Texas Instrument 99 computer. I believe that's what it's called. And that one was pretty cool because it came with a, a speech synthesis cartridge and a whole bunch of games. I don't know what it's worth, but it looked pretty cool, and I'll eventually list it on eBay or a local marketplace and see if I can get something for that. So those are the kind of things that you might find at estate sales, and you just have to be careful uh, with what you're looking at, because if you don't know what the value of something is, then stay away because you might not make money at it, or have at least your smartphone that you can look up the item on eBay and see if there's... Uh, sort of a general idea of what this thing might cost and see if the person selling uh, the stuff at the estate is willing to drop the price a bit, if they'll negotiate with you, if you buy a few more things from them, if they'll make it a little bit better for you. Remember that the person most likely has inherited this stuff um, is the person that's selling it or sometimes it's going through a uh, estate uh, trustee but most of the time it's direct family members that are getting rid of the items and they want to be able to clear up the house and move on with their lives and 
put this to rest. So you can make a lot of money if you know what you're doing and if you take your time to do research and to go to these estate sales with an open mind as to what you might find. You never know. Sometimes you go there for one item and you end up finding something totally unrelated that is pretty cool. Um, I really do like going to estate sales. Uh, it's unique to see some of the things that people collect over a lifetime. There is history in some of the items that you see. So you never know what you're going to find. So estate sales are definitely a great way to spend uh, some time when you, when you want to make some extra money on the internet. And then using some of the tips that I've uh, posted on my eBay power seller tips, uh, you might use those tips to make money. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things that uh, that estate sales encompass and I really enjoy that game. If you guys are serious about doing estate sales, um, I would suggest trying to do as much research before you get to the estate on the items that are being put up. If there are, sometimes there's pictures or sometimes there's uh, brief descriptions of some of the items that are available. Try to see if you understand a little bit of what's being sold. You can even maybe contact the state and find out if they have more information that's not in the limited amount of space in the classified ad. You just want to get as much knowledge as you can before you get down to that estate sale. So, with that said, if you guys uh, like this video and you like learning different ways of making money in the digital economy or in the uh, real world, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. We constantly put up content that helps you, and we love doing it for you because I know how excited I was when somebody showed me how to do uh, things to make money on the Internet, and it's something that I like to share back with you guys. So hopefully that helps, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys.